my channel, I'm Mary Duan, and for today's vlog, I'm at Ichiko Kudo, Ichiko Kudo Ramen Japanese restaurant with uh, my colleagues. Alright, so we actually got each each of us different dish, so I'll just show you guys later lah. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dari Duan and for today's video, I've already mentioned earlier. So actually this is my second time recording this part, this segment of today's video because the previous version it was shit. Uh, the sound video was shit, the colour was off, so this is my second time recording this angle. Created the script for this part, so yeah, it's just right here. Look. It's here. Oh, okay, it's too bright. Oh. Anyway, so I was at Ichigo Kudo Ramen. It's a Japanese. Uh, it's a Japanese restaurant. Now let me explain certain things before we start the video. First, I was with my bosses and a client. I didn't know why I said, uh, apa? Uh, colleagues. Okay, I really don't. don't uh, I really don't know why. Second, it was the first day of my period on that day. So and I was having a bad cramp. So I didn't like record much for today's uh for later on and yeah and on and the third thing is that on top of that period and the cramps right we were having a photo shoot with my client right before we went to the restaurant so imagine me carrying all the heavy stuff like the cameras the the suitcase the luggages that that's in that that my bosses put the you know Camera equipments inside, you know, everything that I had to bring along like from place to place while my bosses are busy shooting my client and me feeling weak AF and like I felt like I was like I wanted to die, I felt like I wanted to die because of the crime. But you know, your girl need to like step quiet, you know, like step very strong and macho in front of the boss. So when my boss asked like, are you okay? Are you okay? Then I'm like, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. But in my heart, like, I want to die. Um, I don't think there's anything else to say. Yeah, since I have nothing to say, yeah, let's just start the video. The problem is that I didn't ask each of them like the exact name of the dishes so after this I'm just after finish editing I'm just gonna do some research and I'm going to put like pictures and the names of the dish like in the screen somewhere you guys gonna see it lah okay so firstly will be my dish uh, I ordered the if I'm not if I'm not wrong I of I ordered the um, oh my my hands okay. I ordered the why is it the the traditional signature dish? Okay, which is yeah, the their own original dish lah. Amiro got the dish that has a seaweed, and then Huda got this. Her dish was similar to mine, I remember, but then it it's not the same. Okay, you just you guys can I will put a com well, what a comparison lah. Okay, side by side. And then for Shahira, I actually didn't ask her because she's a client, so I was actually quite shy to ask her directly. Alright, so how was your food, Huda? Okay, sit down. Indeed. How was your food? <laughs> uh, it was good. It was buttery and salty. How are you doing? The food was very good for me. The usual Japanese taste. Would you recommend? Yes, but you need to choose wisely. Alright, the food was great. I got the normal ramen and it was actually quite creamy and not so. how to say. what in English? Lua. Lua in English. Cloying. Jela. Jela is in Malay. Cloying. Cloying is not too cloying. And yeah, the portion is quite big. Bro, this camera is so heavy. And I'm tired holding it, okay? But anyways, as you guys just see just now, everyone were commenting that their food are nice, uh, soggy, creamy. My food was definitely nice. Okay, the traditional noodle was nice. It was, like I said, it was creamy. It was soggy. 
um, soggy like in a good way like it wasn't like too like I say it wasn't like too cloying and the portion was big which is what makes me full and everything was balanced lah for a noodle soup everything was balanced um but then like earlier Amiro said that for those who are not familiar with non-Singaporean food such as Korean food, Vietnam food, um, Japanese food, for, um, those kind of things like non-Singaporean food if you guys go to these kind of restaurants uh, rest, restaurants if you guys go to these kind of restaurants um, you guys should try the traditional food their signature dish lah as a um, kickstarter lah I mean like for the, as a first timer and for someone who's like me who's not used to eating Japanese food that's what I did lah like I ordered the um that uh, the apa ni ya Allah the tradition the, the signature the signature dish okay but yeah you know for all it's quite good and you guys should try it out okay and that's all for today's video I have three groups of people to thank for this video firstly um, thank you this full studios SG and also my bosses for entertaining me for, uh, to this video and also for allowing me to use your footages for this video do check them out at blissful studios SG blissful studios SG and at this booth SG and number two is my client Shahira, thank you Shahira for entertaining me for my vlog even just for a while. Do check her out at shahira.rahim. She's a um she is a holistic lifestyle advocate and also a weight management coach. So you guys should check her out on her Instagram at shahira.rahim. I'm not saying that you guys are fat or whatever, whatever. But her Instagram has lots of like health uh, tips on how to make healthy food, on how to um manage your weight you know so you should check her out like her contents are really good you not only fat people or any other skinny people all of us okay can learn something from her instagram okay so do check her out at shahira.rahim and number three i would like to thank all of you who watch who are watching this video thank you thank you so much do follow me on instagram at diary do and twitter at diary do and since you guys are here might as well subscribe below and yeah i'll see you in the next video okay bye